Do you want to make words pop up on the screen as they're spoken in Final Cut Pro? I've got a method. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it, but this is the way I do it and I couldn't find a better way to do it on YouTube. So I thought I'd share it here with you. So here I've got a client of mine and you can hear what she's speaking here. How are you shaping a world where you love your life's work? So those are the words that we're going to add to the screen. So simply what I do is I go up to the text option here and I do just custom text. You could probably also do just normal text. I can't remember what it's called. Let's put that on top of there and I'm going to zoom in on the timeline here. Okay, so now that we have the title on the screen, we're just going to type in what she says here. How are you shaping a world where you put it on the right number of lines there, just kind of put it on the screen in a nice kind of way. Um, and then you can, of course, choose whatever font and zoom up to get it the right size, move it around. And just for this, I'm not going to, uh, she's just going to be sitting right on top of, of her. And I normally would put a background in or change this around, but really all we care about here is showing you how to animate this text. So um, once I have the text in there and it's on the screen the way I like the way I like it to be at the end, I'm actually going to do a control click and say new compound clip. And you can rename it if you want. All this does is it makes it so that when you're clicking on it, you're not accidentally clicking on the text. So that's not super important, but I find it pretty helpful. And then you're going to take a mask. So go over into your effects and down to masks and we're going to draw a mask. So drag that over and then you can see click to add a control point and you're going to add six control points around the outside. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the last one, the seventh one, you just go over and close that out. Okay. Now what you'll do is line this up with where she first starts talking. And that's going to be when these come on and you can go ahead and make a transformation of the control points. So let's move this control point to the first word. just have how and then just use the arrow keys to go forward that's where she's at R and go to here where it says control points and add a keyframe so I add a keyframe right as she's starting to say it and then I add one frame later an additional keyframe and that's gonna be important so the words don't kind of build on the screen but they pop on one at a time okay so now we go to the next word Move that around. Forward. She says you. Once again, two keyframes. And on the second keyframe is when you move the control points to show the next word. Okay. And with six control points, you should have all you need to bring this on without having to build to add any extra control points. But you could, uh, I think, control click to add a control point. So I'm just going to continue here. Okay, so now I've got each of those worked out and I'm going to play this clip here for you.
how are you shaping a world where you love your life's work? And there we go. You can go in and tweak those keyframes a little bit if you need to, but uh, that's pretty much it. Just put your text on the screen and you're going to mask it out and allow the mask to show the words as they're spoken. That's the quickest way that I've found to add words to the screen as they are spoken. If you've got a better way, I would love to hear it. Uh, just put that in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching.